Hi, I'm attorney Renee Azapov with Shelley Law, and we assist teachers here in the state of Arizona who may be under investigation um, either by the State Board of Education or their school district. Uh, today, I'm discussing what would happen if a teacher um, was accused of misappropriating school funds. So let's talk about what that is um, or what it can be construed uh, to mean. Um, that would, you know, in general terms, be using school funds um, for your own personal gain um, and not using them properly how um, the state laws and regulations uh, say they should be used for. So let's just backtrack and we'll talk about at the school level what would likely happen. So the school um, district or governing board um, is required by state statute. If they uh, believe that they're or that they reasonably suspect um, that you have misappropriated school funds, they are mandated reporters. So not only I'm sure there are, there are many policies within your school handbook that you receive and sign upon becoming um, an employee, uh, you would likely be disciplined at your school. Um, this could mean administrative leave, paid or unpaid. Um, again, if they reasonably suspect they are going to report this uh, to local authorities um, because this is actually a crime um, and the police would likely um, investigate this. Uh, then they're also going to report if it has anything to do, I don't know if misappropriation can, but maybe in some situations, if it has to do with any type of student um, safety or well-being, uh, child protective services may be involved, but I would say that one's pretty rare, but it is likely that law enforcement will get involved and open up um, an investigation. And then also they're going to report you to the State Board of Education and they will open up an investigation as well. Um, so at the school level, like I said, it's likely administrative leave, paid or unpaid, um, or you may be terminated um, from your employment with them. At the state level, at your licensing board, um, they will open up an investigation. Again, if they reasonably suspect that you did misappropriate funds, they're going to look and see how this affected uh, students. They may consider mitigating or aggravating circumstances. Uh, mitigating circumstances might be that you're new to this position or you're new um, to this profession uh, if you have any prior discipline. And then aggravating circumstances, were you disciplined prior? Um, are, were you under investigation for anything similar? Things like that. Um, those would definitely be aggravated. And then the board would uh, likely conduct a hearing um, and that's done. Um, well, let's see. Let's backtrack. If you agree to a consent agreement, um, then it stops there and you're agreeing to the discipline. Uh, if you can test that, you say, I don't agree with that, then you would go to a hearing with the Professional Practices Advisory Committee where you may have witnesses that you can examine, uh, you can put on evidence as exhibits, um, and then that committee will make a finding of fact and conclusions of law. The discipline um, by the State Board of Education, uh, there's really only four categories. So there's a letter of censure, there is suspension, a suspension with conditions or uh, revocation, which means that your teaching license is revoked. Uh, misappropriating school funds is handled pretty seriously. And I wouldn't be just concerned with the licensing board as well. It's likely that your local law enforcement will be investigating um, depending on the amount and the circumstances around it. So it's pretty serious. You want to take it very seriously. Um, I would advise um, speaking with an attorney, if not having one represent you, um, if anything like that ever were to come up. Uh, you, if you'd like more information, you can check out our website at Shelley Law, C H E L L E Law.com. Our contact information is in the description below. Uh, you can set up a consultation and we are happy to help. Thanks.